Industries like my next guests, times like this may actually be a boom for business. We want to get the real deal now in the state of the bar industry with a man who has turned around over 800 bars throughout the world. Bar Rescue's John Tatbur joins me now for our continuing Reality Week Spotlight. John also has a book coming out in October called Raise the Bar. And John, first of all, big market sell-off today. Do bars make more money when times get tough or do people not go to bars? Well, today's a good day to have a drink, don't you think, Maria? Yeah, yeah I'd say. <laughs> sure, you know, bars are leisure, uh, and we fit into the leisure segment. People come to bars with free time. And, you know, we found that in, in upswings of the economy, downswings of the economy, spend changes a lot more than traffic levels of guests do. And today, I'm guessing a lot of people, uh, particularly in the Wall Street area, are going to be out having an extra cocktail or two today. So the bar industry can benefit from days like today. Okay, so Silver Birch Hotels is credited to you with increasing their revenue by six billion dollars what's the secret to success how do you turn around a bar that's not doing well well I don't believe we're in a bar business we're really not in the beverage business or the food business we're in the business of creating reactions and when we create great reactions we make money so I believe that the he or she who creates the best reactions in a bar business always makes the most money what's been the most difficult bar that you've had to rescue well, you know, if we take reactions and we say, boy, a plate of food, the product really isn't the food. The product is the reaction that the food achieves. A lot of bars disappoint a lot of guests out there. The worst I've done is maybe pirates or headhunters, which was season one and season two. But, you know, changing a business is easy, Maria. Changing people is tough. Okay, so it's really the, the, the people that you have to change their sentiment, their mentality, how they approach their own business. We do. You know, the bar industry is one of the last independent landscapes in all of business. If we look at chain restaurants, most industries have become national chains, regional chains. The bar industry is still mostly all independent operators, and uh, uh, they function as independents, uh, and that's a little different than the chains. Yeah, and, and have the number of bars increased? Does that add to the, to the sort of uh, issues there, that there are just a lot of bars out there? There are. You've, you know, well, you've rescued 800 establishments. I have, and that's, that's in almost 30 countries. The recession took its toll. I mean, we lost a few thousand bars, no question, around the country during the recession. And again, what happened is people come to bars, but they'd spend less money. You know, the second public building ever built in America was a bar. The first was a church. George Washington was our first distiller. So bars are in the fabric of America. They're that special third place. It's not home and it's not work, but we all participate in it at some stage in our lives. Absolutely, and it's a, it's a good story. John, good to have you on the program. Thank you so much. Great to be here. We'll be watching John Taffer joining us uh, with uh, his upcoming book, Raise the Bar. The difference between a sell-off because the Fed may possibly taper and a sell-off on the American consumer possibly fading. My observation is next. If you're not using